size are you? Six? Six, yeah, thank you. So I got your foot in the game. They're like half a size too big. Okay. Are they comfy? No, but would I care? <laughs> <laughs> They're lovely. I think as long as you went quite simple everywhere else, because they're so studded. They're a bit glam, aren't they? You'd have to be really simple everywhere. They're all glam, but they actually don't look OTT. Wow, they're Bobby Duffers, aren't they? <laughs> 32B? That's not a 32B, I know. It's very pretty, though. It's tiny. Ooh. I do like age of culture. I think they make beautiful lingerie. Are they Chloe? They're Chloe, yeah. They're, they're also nice. in the sale. So as I've probably mentioned several times in our videos, if budget allows the best people for trench coats would of course be Burberry. One, because they're British, but two, they do make beautiful trench coats. So we're in flannels now and just trying on this trench coat, which is a slightly different version for Burberry because it's more of a Mac feel rather than the sort of classic yeah, cotton yeah, kind of fabrics. And I think I'm in love with this. It's beautiful. Got a nice big hood there. Nice length. How much is that, do we know? Rainproof, as it should be. For you don't answer me. I don't know. I'm just going to ignore <laughs> how much it okay. is, because actually it's lovely. Okay. I like this big hood as well. I'm estimating 12. Here we go. So that's for football. Do I look really chic with that? Yeah, you really would be chic if you went to football in that. Yeah. Way. Let me do it up and see what it looks like. Oh, I want this coat. I daren't actually find out how much it is because it would be out of my budget at the minute after spending so much at Christmas. But I just tied the waistband there, which looks nice. I think just nips it in a little bit. I think this is actually a size eight and normally I'd go for a 10. So they're probably coming up a little bit big, I'd say. But that is what it looks like done up. You can see it from all angles and all the mirrors, which is a little bit weird. What do you think, £500 probably? No, more than that. More? Oh, well, I know a classic so nice. one, don't, aren't they normally coming in at about £1,200? I know I keep saying £1,200. But it's a slightly thinner yeah, Mac so you might kind of material. Pay. Okay, I'll guess at £800. I'm going to guess six. We'll see okay. who's, who's right. <laughs> On the money, it was 595 See? Don't you just hate that? Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry <no. laughs> Yeah, 595 which is expensive for a coat, a raincoat essentially, however, uh, it wouldn't date, it wouldn't date and it's beautiful and I want it, so that's yeah. why I wouldn't mind. You've got obviously the classic Burberry lining, which I'm not a big fan of actually, but I don't mind it as a no, lining. No, it's right, it's a flash of colour, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so 595 I think it's going to last you forever, I could wear that when I'm 80 and it wouldn't look old. Yeah. So I picked this one up firstly because I love canary yellow and I thought the print was really pretty. Plus it's Stan von Furstenberg, which I really, really love. I've got um, a couple of her items actually, a dress, which is one of my favorite dresses in my wardrobe. But I have to say on, it's really not doing a lot for me at all. I feel really mumsy. <laughs> it's a bit frumpy, to be honest, just the shape. The way that it kind of sits a little bit higher than your waist and then makes you kind yeah. of do a, I don't know, it's just, it's a bit boring in terms of shape and I don't think it's particularly flattering either. I don't think it's doing anything for you. I think it's looking a bit bulky around here. Maybe it's because it's too big. What size is it? It's a small. Oh. So, sorry, Diamond One First and Bird. We do like your collections. <laughs> But, but not today. <laughs> not today. That's such a shame, actually. I really like that print. Really like the yellow. Yeah. It's just, it's just not flattering and quite frumpy, really. I don't sorry. think I can make that work. No. Sorry. So next up, just a simple grey sweater with a bit of sort of quite an interesting design on the chest. This is Emporio Armani. Um, and I think we both agreed that we liked it because it wasn't glaringly obvious no. what brand it was. It's actually stitched on, isn't it? Like in a pleat. Yeah, thing. it's um, like ribbon, actually, yeah. ribbon detail. But it's quite understated and I think I'm not a huge uh, logo fan at all. No. Um, any designers that I have got, I prefer the more understated plain designs. So if this had Armani across the front, mm. I would never buy it or wear it. So for me, that is a nice balance. Quality feels lovely actually, it's kind of got a bit of fleece inside. So yeah, we like that one. So funny enough, we've made it to the NARS counter just to have a little look at what they've got. And I've just tried some Laguna bronzer, which is really nice. I was using a really rubbish bronzer, so I think I need to get a new one. And then just tried some macadamia uh, radiant concealer under my eyes, which is really nice as well. So I think I'm gonna have to treat myself. 
and now Charlotte is having a go. So this is your creme brulee. So when you do it at home, you're gonna do one dot here, one dot here, one here and one here. So it's almost in a V. Then blend that down to the cheek. So that gives you more of that natural look. Why do you take it down so low? Down so low so you bring in your foundation up so you've not got the heaviness underneath the eye. Okay. So you don't get the crease in like you do get if you put a foundation underneath your eye. got a bit sidetracked and found our way to White Company as we often do but there's so many lovely bits to be honest well I want to buy for a little baby girl that I don't have um, and then after that I then found all these lovely girls I found this coat it's always cape like isn't it in the shape yeah cape kind of shape three quarter length sleeves um, I think it's boiled wool I think that's what you say it's really nice I like the shape I think it's quite elegant and obviously would go with so many different things I had a similar coat to this with three quarter length sleeves from opening ceremony that I bought in LA once. And although it seems really impractical with three quarter length sleeves, I actually wore it loads. Do you like this one? Yeah, I really like it. I like that, it's nice. But I'm kind of in my happy place into some loungewear again. Um, but if there's one thing that White Company do perfectly, it's loungewear. So I found this simple cotton jersey um, hoodie which I thought was really nice. Um, it's quite big actually, I mean this is a small and as you can see it's quite baggy on me. But to be honest, loungewear, you don't want it tight or anything anyway. Joggers, they've only got them in a size eight and definitely with loungewear I'd always at least go true to size or next size up. So um, I would probably buy these in a size 10 as they're just digging a tiny bit on the waistband. It's really comfy. Yeah, I could easily wear those all the time loungewear at home. What do you think, Charlotte? It makes you want to go home and snuggle up. It does, it? especially as you've got a bit of a cold today. You're feeling a bit rotten. <laughs> it's really annoying for anybody yeah. who's listening to She's me. quite happy in her, in her chair in the corner. She doesn't want to try anything on. No. You just want to put the loungewear on and snuggle up in that chair. I do. <laughs> so yeah, really simple, not silly money, and just really nice quality. Then I found this beautiful soft pink. I hope it's kind of picking up the colour there. Soft pink cardigan from White Company which I love, that is just my cup of tea. Kind of thrown it on, obviously, on top of my loungewear, which is probably not how you should wear it, but it's really cozy, really comfy. When you find like a nice quality item in a really sort of delicate, pretty color, you can kind of wear it pretty much with everything. I yeah. think you would wear it with those, to be fair. I can imagine you wearing it sort of snuggled up. Yeah, and the buttons. As we're quite funny about buttons, they're not too showy or anything like that. It's just all subtle. I think that's the nice thing about White Company. You walk in and you instantly sort of feel relaxed. It's Everything's calm, it smells beautiful, and all the tones and colours of everything. I'm actually trying this on now because, as Jess said, it actually looks better, we think, in with um, jeans rather than um, comfies. That looks really nice, actually. Just cool yeah. tea. Probably a little bit big for me, I would say. It's a bit big, but it kind yeah. of it kind of works because you're full of cold, and you want to be all yeah, snuggly. snuggly. I really like that cardi. Yeah. I think I might have to purchase that. <laughs> so I found this sort of soft pink blouse, which feels like silk. I'll have to put in the description if it is or not. I haven't seen on the label, but I thought that was really simple, really pretty. Just little turn back sleeves. I love the colour which isn't showing as pretty there as it actually is in real life. And just a simple pin tuck detail here. It comes down to about there, but obviously I've tucked it in. Oh. Yeah, I think that's a really pretty blouse, actually. Probably for me, I'd wear it with jeans. I picked up these trousers because I quite like that trim. I don't know if you can pick it up. It's like a, a slight ribbon trim down the leg, but I don't like the shape on. I think that is a bit mumsy. 
and particularly with the two of them together, yeah. I don't think that works. It's it's just not a good shape for me. They're nice quality and I like that kind of detail. I just don't think it looks very good on. But I do love that blouse, I think that's really pretty. Okay, so first outfit in River Island is this slightly different mustard coloured dress. I don't know if you can really see the tone there. It's actually nicer colour in real life than it looks probably in the mirror. So just a nipped in waist just with a drawstring quite a high neck here and then you've got a zip up the back um, but I just thought quite an elegant looking dress for going out for the evening um, throughout summer and I love the colour but I always seem to pick up yellow. These are the lovely sock moulds there on my, on my feet. So yeah just a couple of splits up the side. Um, yeah I like that. So next up from River Island is this faux leather jacket, which to be honest, for 60 pounds, I'm pretty impressed with. So it's got nice kind of quilted detail over the chest section there and lots of zips and pockets, which are nice quality. They don't feel cheap or anything. If this is in your budget and you want to spend about 60 pounds, I'd say this one from River Island is a really good choice. Um, so again, just a bit of a quilted detail on the arms there. Um, I'd probably never wear these done up just because I feel uncomfortable. So I kind of like it undone like that, just with a pair of jeans and some boots. Um, nice and simple, a bit rock chicky kind of look um, without actually spending a complete and utter fortune. So last but not least, as you can see, this one is £50. <laughs> so in sale, um, obviously it's a good time to be buying a winter coat because of course they're all in the sale and some really good bargains to be had. So £50 for what feels like, I don't know if it is, I'll put it in the description, but it feels like a pure wool coat. And it's kind of, it's not coming across so well on here, but it's kind of a slightly pinky cream tone. Um, I really like this. I think it's quite elegant. Um, I think it will go with everything. Don't think it will really go out of fashion. Even the shiny button detail is not too offending. It's never really going to go out of fashion, just a classic winter coat. So I don't think you can kind of go wrong. Just got back to Charlotte's for a well-earned cup of tea after all that shopping. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this edition. Found some really beautiful pieces today, actually. Particularly, I'd say White Company, um, every season, to be honest with you, I love their collections. I find five or six pieces that I want instantly. Loved that pink cardigan. Um, some really nice bits in NARS as well. I got a couple of bits from them. So yeah, a little bit of inspiration there for you for the season ahead. And also some transitional pieces as it's still a bit colder, but we're sort of coming into spring, summer 19. Don't forget to leave us a comment of your favorite pieces that we found today and we shall see you next time.